Does it sound rude to a horse? Three letters. What? Does it sound rude to a horse? Three letters. Push up. Whom? Police car. Oh! Leave them. Get him away. Yes? Police, sir. What do you want? Uh, do you mind if I have a few words, please, sir? Mr. Cunningham? Uh, yes. Uh, we're making some inquiries, sir. Uh, I see. Uh, look, do you mind if I come in? Well, is it necessary? Well, it's more confidential, you know. Uh, yes. Well, I mean, you know what people are like. <laughs> Telescopic ears, some of them. Thank you, sir. Uh. Inquiries? Yeah, maybe you can help, sir. You never know. The wife. You'd like to come through? In here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. June, it's all right. The constable asked some questions. Shall I come down? Did you want to talk to her? If you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Do you have to? It'll be a help, but it won't take long, you know? June, come on down, love. He says it won't take long. What is it? He hasn't said yet. In here would be best, in here. Right. Mrs Cunningham, look, there's no need to worry yourself. I just put these questions to you to clear a few things up. Don't you be upset, love. Well, that's right. It's just that we're not used to... We don't have much to do with the police, you understand? Yeah, we're used to that, sir. Yes. Thanks, sir. Oh. You'd like to sit. I know, I'm all right, thanks. You've knocked some down. Uh, yes, I know, they'll give you later. Oh, sorry. What was it you wanted? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, we're making some inquiries into the whereabouts of someone, and we've reason to believe you may be able to help us, sir. Oh, my pins. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, do you know a Mr. Parsons? Clive Albert Parsons? Oh, yes, yes, I do. That's Andy. Oh? His initials, C-A-P, caps, so we called him Andy. Uh, who's we? Oh, the wife of me and the others at the pub. Oh, you drank with him, did you? I did. Did you know him well? We got on. Well? Well enough. We saw him over Wednesday when Matthew played darts. Regular? Enough. Enough to know him, chat-like. <laughs> what sort of chat would that be, Mr. Cunningham? Uh, that's my business. Just friendly. Friendly? That's right. Just what she says. You do know what he was up to, do you, sir? I know what was said. Did you, um, ever visit him? Where? Well, at his home. Oh, I've been there. Not to see him. I know he's empty. Where from? A few years back. In prison? I mean, have either of you visited him in prison? No, I'd never do that. No, we haven't. It's not the sort of thing we do. So you won't have seen him in a while, then? Not since he was taken. Oh, you did hear about it? I saw it. Indecent. Your mob just came in and took him. I'd just sit there and let it happen. Mr. Cunningham, do you know why I was taken? Robbery. Armed robbery. He was a pleasant man, Andy. He wouldn't do a thing like that. He was sent for trial, Mrs. Cunningham. He was found guilty. 
Well, he used a sawn-off shotgun and he wasn't particular who got in his way. It was said. I don't believe it myself. Yeah, well, that's as may be. You see, the fact is he's broken out of Walton and we'd like to know where he could be. Out, is he? I thought you might have known that, Mr. Cunningham. Why should we? I thought he might have come here. Why would he do that? He's got to go somewhere. Yes, that's so. Poor man. Look, if you knew him, you'd know other people who did. Have they heard anything at all? No, not that I know. What do you know, Mr. Cunningham? Not much. Except that Andy wasn't half as bad as he was made out to be. Uh, sir, that is not my concern at the moment. Look, what about these other people? Who would they be? But you'd know. If you've got on to me, you'd know them. They were just ordinary people who happened to drink in a pub. That's all. You're saying you want him for that sort of thing, just because he goes in the same pub? Easy, Junior. Uh, no, missus, I'm just interested to see where Clive Passons is, you see. At this moment in time, there are other officers going round asking questions of other people. I just happen to have drawn you. Well, we don't know. That's all there is to it. Has he been here? No. Has he ever been here? We don't have people back, not normally. We're quiet. What well, do you know where you live? Could do. Could do. Of course he'd know. He's given you lifts back here and me. Kind of him, eh? He was pleasant. Good company. We don't go out much. We met him when we went to the pub. He was kind to us and we liked him. I don't care what they said about him and guns and things. He was nice to us and why should I say otherwise? That's right. That's fair enough, Mrs Cunningham. I'm not quarrelling with any of that. But look, if you know where he is and you reckon you're a friend, the best thing you can do is speak up. Why should she? For his own good, Mr. Cunningham. Look, we don't seem to have the same high opinion of him as you do. I can see that. So all I'm saying is he might do something stupid and make things worse for himself. What do you mean, stupid? Well, he could get desperate. He could hurt someone so as he won't get caught. Could be somebody ordinary like you or your husband. And he'd never do a thing like that. Mr. Cunningham, has he been here in the last day? Has he called at all? No. Have you heard anything about him, through your friends, maybe? No, not a thing. You would let us know if you did. I don't know. Well, Mr. Cunningham, I'd think about it, if I were you, hard, and make sure. He's a criminal and he's dangerous. He never did me any harm. Well, a lot of people could say that. Well, I mean, there must have been a lot said that about Jack the Ripper. That's not a nice thing to say. No, I think it's not, Mr. Cunningham. Look, all I'm trying to do is make sure you've had no contact with him since he broke out, that's all. We haven't. You know there are severe <clears throat> penalties for harboring, don't you? I know. We've always known that. Pardon? We know what it's about. Just leave us be. We haven't seen Parsons. He hasn't been near us. It's your front door, Mr. Cunningham. You best answer it. Uh, yes. Oh, relax. Just open it, sir. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. I'm a police officer. I was just wondering whether you have. Oh, hello, Alec. Sorry to interrupt, busy. A uh, colleague, Mr. Cunningham, CID. What does he want? Uh, well, the same as me. I told you, there's a whole gang of us going around, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of them nights. Can I come in? Uh, 
Uh, I've been having a word with Mr. Cunningham and his missus. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, would you mind going in a minute? We won't be a second. You're staying? Yeah, we won't be long. Just straighten a few things out, you know. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, is that, a, is that a kitchen through there? Uh, yes. Do you mind if I use it just for a minute to confer with me colleague? I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I suppose it's all right. Well, it's better than the hall, you know what I mean, sir? I was sent. What's the matter? Don't they trust me? Cunningham is at the end of a short list, but it's been a very long short list. Mr. Connor wants to know if there's anything doing here. Yeah, well, Cunningham says they haven't seen him since his arrest. He also says he reckons Parsons is a good fella. Well, I'm glad there aren't many good fellas like Parsons around. Twisted from what I remember. Very. So can we all pack up and go home? No, Joe, there's something up here. I'm not sure what. Have you had a chance to look round? No, I haven't had a chance. They've been chatting them. Look, first off, they took a long time answering the front door. Well, they might have been in the bath. He opened it. She was upstairs doing something. When she saw me, she was scared stiff. He was not too happy either. But you've got nothing definite. No, just a funny remark she made. I warned them there were severe penalties for harbouring, and straight out she said, we've always known that. That's a queer remark to make, isn't it? Yeah, but you don't need me, do you? Yeah, I do. I'd like you to ask some questions. I also think we ought to take a look around this place. They're quiet. Are they going upstairs? Not if I can help it. They will. Maybe not. They must. I knew they would. I just knew it! Take it easy, June. Take it easy. Let me do the worrying. If we take it quiet and calm, we can maybe get out of this. They're uh, keeping to themselves. Oh, yeah, they seem all right. Not the sort you'd expect to hang around with Parsons. Well, they did. Seen with them more than once. Cleator's had them down as known associates for some time now. So they've never been brought in for anything, have they? Not to my knowledge. You can have a tell, though. Just the two of them, is it? That's all I know about. Hey, look at this. Huh? Huh? Ready for a siege? Yeah. Or for helping out an old mate. Doesn't make sense. Just to me. No, I mean, if it is for Parsons, just how long do they expect him to stay? I mean, you wouldn't have thought he'd want to hang about here, bang in the middle of Newtown for any time, would you? True. Ah. Let's go and ask him, shall we? Joe, when are you get in the living room, see if anything strikes you like. Uh, such as? Wait and see. Yes? Well? I'm uh, sorry to keep you. Look, I've already told the constable what I know, and it isn't much. It's a bit tricky, that. What? The, uh, the shading here. Oh, yes. I used to do a lot of them. Don't have time now. Passes a while. It's better than the telly. And you do crosswords and all that. I like to use my mind. It's a gift, so you have to use it while you can. Sorry. Do you, uh, do you paint as well, Mr. Cunningham? No. Oh, well, yes, sometimes. Is that one of yours? No, not really. It was somebody I knew. It's unusual. Yes. It's beautiful. One of your favourites, is it? He gave it to me. Who? The painter. It's very nice. Look, if there's nothing else you want here, could you move on? been very upsetting for the wife. Oh, I'm uh, sorry about that, Mrs. Cunningham. Would you sit down, please, sir? Now, I want you to tell me exactly when you met Clive Parsons. No, why ask that? What's the point? When? About 18 months ago, something like that. Where? At the pub. We were out for Wednesday darts and we got talking. What about? That's my business. Parsons is a professional villain. 
That makes it my business. We never talked about crime or anything like that. It was just pleasant. Never talked about crime at all? No. Do you never ever suggest he could get you things on the side, you know, things on the cheap or for nothing? No. No, just a chat and a drink. And darts. It's good for the concentration. But you knew what he was. Not at first, no. But we heard things later. And that made no difference. Why should it? He was always decent to us. Yeah. I'm interested in just how decent. Were you under some sort of an obligation to him? No more than anybody else. No special ties? We were sorry for him. Sorry? You knew what sort of a bloke he was and you were sorry for him? Yes. Why? Be because because we... we knew him as a person. Did you ever meet him? No. You see? He's just a name on a bit of paper to you. I met him, Mr. Cunningham. I didn't find him too friendly. Is he here now? No, he isn't. Has he been here? No. There are stiff penalties for harbouring criminals. So your mate said. Would you mind if we had a look round for ourselves? I would. It would clear things up. I've told you that should be good enough. I'm afraid not. Are you saying I'm a liar? You're the known associate of a wanted criminal. What does that mean to anybody? What does that make me? Just because Andy gets into trouble, it doesn't make me a criminal. Oh, me. You've got to be able to talk to who you like. Would you accompany me to the kitchen, Mrs Cunningham? Why should she? Mrs Cunningham? What do you want? Look, Mr Cunningham, we've already been in there once. What's the objection now, eh? I don't want you bullying June. You can come if you like. I'm not fussy. I still want to know what you want. Come and find out. Why in here? Don't worry. Would you open the fridge for me, Mrs Cunningham? Why? I want to see what's inside it. It's just a fridge. There's nothing funny about it. Mrs. Cunningham? It's well stocked. Yes. Why not? We like to keep it stocked. Eat well, do you? Yes. What's your job, Mr. Cunningham? Electrician. I can afford to keep it full. It's more economical anyway. And handy if you have guests. Do many people call? Some. We're quiet, but we like people. Yeah, well, I think we've got that message. Now that we've seen the kitchen, do you mind if we have a look around the rest of the house? I said no. And I'm taking that as an indication that you have got something to hide. Or somebody. I've not. This is all part of a much wider investigation, Mr Cunningham. I can get a warrant, then you'll have to let us search. You don't let them. Leave it to me, Jerry. Just leave it to me. But what's your name? Detective Constable Skinner. Could I talk to you? Go ahead. Uh, in the other room, just you. I don't see any point. Please. Well, my colleague will have to stay in here with your wife. Oh, yes. I don't mind. I'll say all that needs to be said. I hope you didn't mind me asking to have a word with you by yourself. No, that's all right. Tropical defrost. Oh, yes, I'm sorry about that. I never thought. No, no, me. Hope it'll be all right. Well, I don't think it's been open long enough to do much damage. No. I hope it'll be all right when Matthew talks to your friend. You tell the truth, you can't go far wrong. Depends what you mean by wrong. Take my word, that man's wrong. Look, he hasn't killed anybody yet, but it won't be long if people like you help him. He hasn't? Did you say he hasn't? Uh, not yet, I said. But you just said he hadn't killed anybody, are you sure? As far as I know, Parsons hasn't gone that far yet. Oh, Andy. No, perhaps he hasn't. Mrs Cunningham, would you like to tell me what your husband's saying in there? 
No, he's the one to do the talking. I don't know anything about this non-associate business. I just knew the fella and we got on. What else can I say? There was a reason for us getting on with Andy. Uh, why we kept up with him. Must have been. It's not easy to say. I bet it's not. I'm being frank with you, and I've never said this to anyone before, about the wife. She's great, and we've always been happy together, but she needs care. She needs looking after. How do you mean? Some people do. And what's that got to do with Parsons? I think maybe he's the same. What with? We talked a lot. I could tell he was a bit like June. There was nothing you could see, but you felt if things went wrong for him, he might go a bit funny like, and he could go off the rails. So I wasn't surprised when I heard what he's done, because I understood. You think that Parsons needs looking after? That's right, that's what I'm saying. He needs people to care, to talk to him. Well, it didn't do him any good to break out then, did it? He should have stopped where he was. Not in prison. That was no good to him. It's better for the public. Well, not for him. All right. You're sympathetic. I appreciate that. Now, where's it leading us to? I want you to know the reasons. I want you to understand why June and me were his friends. If you can understand that, then perhaps you'll leave us alone and not bother us anymore. Sorry, it works the other way. What? You've convinced me that you're both capable of helping him. He's not here, I promise you that. Either we search now or else I get a warrant. Uh, look, just calm down, Mrs. Cunningham. Relax, there's no point in getting worked up. Just relax. I'll finish pouring the tea for you. I just shook. I don't know why. Reaction, maybe? I don't take sugar. Right now you do. It'll be too sweet. Just how I like it. You're not the only one. I'll uh, take his in, shall I? Well, I expect he'd like one when he's finished talking to the officer. You mean my husband? Oh, yes. Oh. Who did you think I meant? My lad. Where's he? Out? Yes. Uh, excuse me. Yes, 501. Still you down. They're taking him. Right, thanks. Uh, look, Joel Skinner's here with me. We'll tidy up here and be off. 501, out. Well, there you are, Mrs Cunningham. That's you in the clear. We don't see much of him, you see. Your lad? Yeah, Derek. Spoils everything. He couldn't help himself, you know. Oh? Well, Mr Cunningham's agreed to show us the rest of the house. Yeah, Joe. Just a sec. Well, we're there, we? we? So, Station's been on. They've sighted Parsons in Seaport. So, uh, so Cunningham was right all the time? What are the instructions? Under control, they said. What? Well, we can go then. Yeah, I'm not so sure. What? Mrs. Cunningham. Yeah? There's something funny. Well, I, I got that impression from Cunningham. You fancy being kicked off the force, Jim? Well, give us a good reason. I want to see upstairs. Now, look, I don't know if she registered about Parsons. I don't think she did. What are we looking for? She said something about her son, the lad, Derek. How he couldn't help himself. He likes sweet tea. Well, so do I. Oh, look, it's just the atmosphere since I've been here. That picture in there doesn't fit. One or two other things and funny remarks. Funny is right. 
I suppose it can't do any harm. Hey, it could do. Let's try. We're ready now, Mr. Cunningham. If you'd like to lead the way, please. I hope everything's tidy up there. I wouldn't worry about that, Mrs. Cunningham. You will be going once you've looked around up here, won't you? Yeah, that's it. We'll cross your names off the list and that will be that. Bathroom, two bedrooms, that's all. This is ours. The other we use mostly for storing things. And if anybody wants to stop, you know the sort of thing. Yeah. Well, Fred, I will have to have a look round, if you don't mind. That's my favourite. It's very nice. Do you like it? It's a horse. Yeah, well, you can tell. Is that all you want in here? Yes, I think that's it. Uh, just leave the attic. There's nothing up there, just a few boxes. Take a look, just to show me. Handy this, eh, Mr. Cunningham? I've done enough here. There's nothing up there. We'll see, shall we? On the radio, his radio. This here they'd found Andy. Found him? Then they'd no need looking anymore. Ah, uh, now just leave him be. You come down from there. What she says we'd found him, what you meant was there was a reported sight, and that's quite different. They said they were going. You come away well, from there. Watch what you're doing. Just get your mate down from there. We're only doing our duty. Come down! It's just an ordinary loft, you know. Use it for storing things, do you? Well, not a lot, no. In fact, I can't remember the last time I was up there. Can you, June? Well, most people use their attics to put all the old junk in. They don't want their visitors to see. Well, you are pretty tidy. She doesn't like a lot of things hanging about if they're not going to be used. What about this ladder? You keep that in the house, but you say you never use it. Well, we'll use that a lot for changing light bulbs. There's nothing more. See, nothing there. When I came half an hour back, there was a bump just like that when I was coming in. Were you up there, Mrs. Cunningham? Why? Well, that's what I'd like to know. You see, there doesn't seem to be much reason for going up there, does there? You've seen all there is to see. Have I? Joel, there's a petition up there that cuts off more than half the attic. Now, why does it do that, Mr. Cunningham? Don't ask me. Why does it do that? He shouldn't be up there. Why, you know? I know, but I know I'm all right. You get him down from there. Not until he's finished his search. Derek, why now? Why now? Oh, I'll have to go up there. I'll go, I'll go. Now, who is it? You saw me kill him. Is he armed? He'll kill him, we just know. You all right, Alec? No, I'm not. I've skinned every bone I've got. What about Derek? What have you done to him? You best get up here and find out, Mr. Cunningham. George, better take these. Get on to the station. You should be able to receive all right. Well, what do I tell him? Well, just say, Adam. It's that boy, I don't know.
be all right. I've, I've laid him out. Best thing, when he gets worked up. I'm glad you see it that way. Now, look, you best get that bed straight and you get him on it. John, Mr. Cunningham's helping him remove him. It's all right. D.C. Skinner and Newton. Uh, uh, Derek's his name, is it? Is that right, Derek? Yes. Uh, hello, New... Look, you better come in here. Are you all right? D.C. Skinner and Newton. What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. D.C. Skinner and Newton. Can you read me now? Uh, yeah. We're still on the Cunningham Inquiry, 23 Roberts Road. Things have changed a bit. Would you get a check out for us on Derek Cunningham of that address? You must have belted him. I had to. Still, it's all right. Oh, I see. You can tell, can you? St. John's Ambulance. Oh, yeah. Does he always go off alarming like that, does he? No. Just that you're the first person he's seen in a while, apart from us, and there's the uniform. Just how long has he been up here? A while. You'll need to be more exact than that, Mr. Cunningham. Nigh on two years. He's been up here all that time? Well, not all the time. He does come downstairs sometimes with us, when we're sure it's all clear. Where was he when I came tonight? Around. Oh, I see. Your wife come up here to warn him to stay put, did she? Yeah. Yeah. Does he wait for you to come and fetch him, then? Not always. Sometimes he just appears, but he's very careful. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, the, um, the ladder's in the bedroom. That's no problem to him. He can swing himself down there. Oh, yeah, but what about getting back up? The same. He just swings himself up again. He's very powerful. Telling me. That's what got him into trouble, his strength. And his temper. He hasn't got a temper, not usually anyway. It must have been panic. Why up here? Well. Uh, uh, all right, son. Take it easy. There's <coughs> no trouble. What's he want? No, don't worry about him. He's not here to do anything to you. He hit me. He was worried. He didn't know you. Who was your feet in my room? Show him your picture, Derek. Yeah, he won't want to see it. He will. Let him show you his painting. All right. It's not finished. No? It's all about hills and water. Ambition and life. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the hills pushing up, you see. And the water's life. Oh, yes, yeah, I get it, yeah. You can see me carvings, if you like. All right, thanks. I cut, I cut a lot of these aren't finished, either. I'm not much good on details. I like to carve a nice line. Yeah, for me, the, it's the shape that's important. You do a lot of these, do you? Yeah. Well, being up here, I've had a lot of time. Yeah, you uh, must have done a lot in two years. I suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do with them all? I sell them for him. People like them, you know. They get a bit worried about the paintings, but they like the carvings. I don't see why they should be worried. I mean, pictures are very simple. Oh, yeah. A lot of colour. Well, there's a lot about. 
It might be a bit bright for some people, you know, but... Well, I mean, I think it's colourful, you know. Mm. Thank you. Hey, my favourite's downstairs. In our bedroom. Yeah, I've seen the one in the living room as well, you know. Oh, it's not bad, that one. That's one of the first. Mm. Well, thank you for showing us all your work, Derek. Um, it's good. It's not his fault. No? I'm not completely well, you see. And Derek's the same. But uh, has he always been violent? He got very excited. I don't think he ever meant anyone any harm. Just got excited. I see. We found it difficult to keep him at school. They were worried about class disturbance. Thought he might upset the other children. Hold them back. But I don't see that, because he's always been very bright. Well, was this all around here? No, no, this was in Chesterfield. It got so as we thought we ought to move out as soon as possible. Matthew worked very hard and everything was going to be different. And then Derek killed this girl. Killed? What girl? Was it in Newtown? Must be. W what do you mean, must be? Had you moved or had you not? Yes, it was here. We'd only been here a few days. And how do you know that Derek killed a girl? He told us. Anybody else? What? I mean, anybody else see anything? The police, for instance? No, nobody came round. So you've only got Derek's word for it? But he wouldn't lie, would he? Let's get this absolutely clear. Huh? There's nobody at any time accused Derek. No, but we've always waited. You. Yeah, are you all right, Alec? Yeah, I think so. Did you get on? Yeah, they're running a check and they've missed Parsons. I thought that was all over. No, I had the report at site and was a mistake or else somebody slipped up. Good job we went on looking. This is Derek Cunningham. Yeah, well, you come downstairs with me, sir. Come on, lad. You can come downstairs with us. Might get that cup of tea now, Mr. Cunningham. All right, son? Yeah. Well, uh, sit down there, will you? Now, then, I want you to listen to me. You go easy on him. It's all right, Mrs. Cunningham. I want you to think back very carefully and think what you see. Now, tell me everything about that girl. Should I say what I told Mum and Dad? If you like. Well, it was night time. It wasn't long since we moved here. I hadn't got a job yet. I was a bit unsettled. I used to walk about a lot, you know, see what was going on. On your own? Yeah. Well, I hadn't got any friends. Not yet, you know, I would have done. Well, I went into this pub and I met some girls. And I had a drink and another one made me dizzy. He never drank. He oughtn't to with a pill. Shh, shh. I was all confused when I went outside again. I felt funny. And I'm sure that there was this girl. And I was near her. And then people shouted and uh, I got worse. And uh, well, the next thing I remember, I was at home here. He came rushing down the garden path and practically knocked the front door down. In being so strong. We asked him what it was all about, but he just cried. So that all we could do was get him to bed and put him to sleep. It was in the papers the next morning. We've still got it. Can I see it? Did you show this to Derek? He saw it.
Does that ring a bell? Were you, Alec? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Me, you know. Did you know this girl? Had you seen her before? I think so. So you didn't know her name or anything about her? No. Coming in, I wonder if you'd mind making that cup of tea now. What now? Yes, please. Yeah, and go easy with the teapot this time, eh? For all of us. Please. What did you do to her, Derek? Come on, Derek, what did you do? I don't remember. Think hard. Don't make him remember. You know what he did. Were you there, Mr Cunningham? Of course I wasn't. So you're going by what was in the papers and what you heard afterwards. I want to hear it from Derek. I don't know. I don't remember doing anything. It was the shouting. This pub that you were in, what was it called? I never looked to see. What was the district? I don't know. Well, I mean, we'd only not long been here. Derek. Were there any trees? I mean, trees along the road, or was it just a street? I don't remember trees. I think I would like trees. Bushes? I just don't know. I don't want to know. It frightens me. That's enough. You've got him. There's no need to keep on like this, putting him through it. If you'd asked a few more questions, put him through it, as you call it, all this might never have happened. He needs protecting. He does now. And you think you're the one to do it? Who better? Yeah. Mr. Cunningham, you are a kind man. But through your affection, you've put your son away into a kind of a prison. That wasn't a prison. That was his home. Up there, he was able to be with us, and he was able to do his art. Up there, he could have a useful life. Mr. Cunningham, if you'd been honest and come forward when this happened, your son Derek could have had likely two years' life in a decent job amongst people. What after that happened? Did you stop panicking long enough to think he might not have done it? But he told us. He told you that something had happened that didn't have to have something to do with that girl, did it? He said there was a girl. There are thousands of girls around. He might have seen any one of them. Now, Derek, did you actually hit her or do anything I to her? I can't him? say. I must have. He'd had a couple of drinks. He wasn't used to it. So he, he goes up to the nearest girl. Somebody objects. Maybe they're shouting. Maybe there wasn't any shouting. You say nothing happened? Whatever happened where Derek was, that girl was murdered somewhere else. Look, I asked Derek if there were any trees. Now, he said there weren't. This happened near a park. He did say he wasn't sure about the trees. You're really convinced, aren't you? If you like. It's been with me for two years. I'll see if that tea's ready. You're all right this time, are you? Yes. Did you find out what you wanted to know? Uh, some of it, yeah. I'm afraid there'll have to be a lot more questions. It could go on for quite a while. It's getting late. Oh, I don't mean just tonight. I mean over the next few days, maybe. You'll take him away. That's not up to me, love. It's the same case, all right. But it's going to take a bit of sorting out, especially as the Cunningham lad's severe. Still, I suppose we'd better stay with it, yeah? Be back to you as soon as possible. Anything on Parsons? Lost him back to square one. That's great. It's going to be a long night. Quick as you can, eh? Will do, Joe. Well? Oh, we're... Waiting for a decision. I mean, you heard him. He's confessed to a murder, so I suppose we ought to listen. But as far as I'm concerned, the whole thing was wrapped up. No one was charged. No need. Huh? Fella hanged himself. I mean, it would have been in the papers. Or something. What? Junior saying he didn't do it. Didn't? They're saying he wasn't there. But I was, wasn't I? What have we done, Matthew? 
Do you want some tea, Alec? Yeah, I'm dying for one. You? Yeah, I might as well. Mm. Did they say anything? No, no, not yet. I could go with him. Yeah, best thing. Uh, I'd want to. Sure, sure. When will you know? Any second now, with a bit of look. Go ahead, Newton. Reeve is Cunningham. There's nothing on him, and Mr. Connor reckons the best thing is he'll call and talk to the bully. When? Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, I could, that's all right, but could you tell us when? You can't just keep us waiting. Look, hold on, will you? You can't keep talking while I'm trying to, can you? W will you go in there and wait for a few seconds? Go ahead, Newton. Finish? Yeah, I think so. All set, Alec. Yeah. Let's go then. What yeah. about Derek? Oh, your husband will let you know. Good night, Mrs. Cunningham. Good night, Derek. <laughs> 